Hello, my name is Mokrus Akuczek and I hope you're having an absolutely outstanding day. I'm just going just to record this very, very short video. Just to give you a little bit um, retrospection, something which happened on Sunday and absolutely completely changed the way I think about life, the way I actually see everything. Um, I don't wish anybody just to go through what I went through on Sunday because it was really scary, it was really something which um, I wouldn't ever imagine this can happen, ha but happened. You know, we think that there are certain things in our life, you know, which we can't control and you are right. And that 99% of the things which you can control in your life, but you don't do this. So what happened on Sunday was, I was flying back from Poland from also, and we had, uh, oh, we had uh, more than a good 35 minutes of extreme turbulations. Uh, tribulation is in the way, you know, I do travel uh, quite a lot and um, I, you know, sometimes we, we do get tribulations, it is uh, one of part of the things, you know, but when this plane was just diving down and just going up and just on the side and, you know, and suddenly, you know, the, si the, the whole plane became silent, you know, you know, you could expect people to scream or something, no, it was just silence. Silence in the way... You know, everybody knew it's just something not really perfectly right. You know, I know the captain, you know, um, got in touch with us and said, you know, we have got little turbulations, you know. But this wasn't little turbulations, you know, it wasn't. It was just something scary. I I was sitting there and, and it was the first time in my life, you know, when you just pray and you just really can't pray to God, God give me something. You just realize, you know, that this can be it. And you just realize, maybe you will not have another moment, another hour, another day, another month, and you know, no more chances. This is it. So when you're in a situation like this, I just realized that most of the things which I was doing so far wasn't 100%, wasn't even 50%. I was afraid of this and this. People, if you are facing situation when you can lose your life when when you just you are not sure if you will make it you just realize what really matter and at this time in my life I just said to myself I'm really sorry I'm really sorry because I was most of the time I was expecting things happened in my life and I wasn't doing my work you know, in this moment, it was crucial because it was nothing what they could do. The only thing what they could do physically at this time was praying. But praying in the way I never prayed before. Um, God, my life is actually in your hands and it's nothing what they can do. It's nothing what I can do. And the worst thing is, I can't say, save me because... I was doing this and this good because it's far away from from perfection, okay? And um, I, you know, people can go for different things in life and they can change, but this experience is a pure blessing because. When we finally landed up in England, I I left the plane and and I had first time in my life completely empty head. I just didn't know what I should think about it, and I just realized, you know, I was doing certain things wrong, and. I've just been given a chance, second chance in my life. And I'm not going to lose this, I'm not going to waste this. And thing to you today is be grateful for everything that you have in your life. Your life doesn't need to be perfect, you know, you don't need to be rich. You don't need to have the best things ever in your life. If you want to have them, go for it, work for this. But learn to be grateful. And when I was a few thousand feet above the the uh, F. I just understood one thing, you know. <laughs> Being sitting in this plane, you know, when you just can't do physically anything.
There are moments in your life when you can do so much, but there are certain moments in your life when you can't do anything. And those moments actually make you realize what your life is about. And my life is actually so dependent on God and people don't need to believe in God, you know, I'm not encouraging you to do it or do whatever you want. But this moment in my life was a complete breakthrough because I realized, you know, that my life is not depend on me. You know, there are certain things which are completely not related to me and it's nothing what I can do about it. But so this is the reason why I'm just giving my life to God and He can do whatever. But the rest of the things, I'm just going to make the most and I'm just going to work really hard and work in 100%. Not like I used to work in 50% or even 5%. No, in 100%. If you want results in your life, you need to work on this. And I'm so grateful for God who just completely, completely transformed my life. I'm far away from perfection. And people sometimes trying to, they're kind of like awaiting, you know, I'm just going to be better tomorrow, I'm just going to do this and this tomorrow. No! Go and do this now! Because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Are you sure you are going to have that tomorrow as well? Are you? Don't be cocky. Don't be greedy in your life. Be, re be humble. Be grateful. And this is the thing which completely change my life and I will never be the same. I will, my life never will be the same. I'm waking up in the morning and this is just so funny, you know, I wake up in the morning and I'm just wildly happy. Wildly happy because it is a gift. Being alive, you know, breathing, you know, the air, you know, feeling the sunshine, it is a blessing. Do you look at this like this? I don't wish you, I don't wish anybody to go through, you know, situation like I went through on Sunday to appreciate more or just starting to appreciate more your life and things what you have in your life, okay? Wait for circumstances like this. Be grateful now. So